here participating in a Freedom Factory Drift Night. It's pretty cool. Oh, not the grass. Oh. I'm going to find that guy. I'm going to find that guy. What a time to be alive. on YouTube channel. All right, before I get to the real juicy stuff of today's video, which is the Freedom Factory Drift Night, you guys just have to hear this story. Last year at one of our events, a guy got injured by his radiator water. That guy Parker and I have stayed in touch ever since it happened. And I told him a long time ago that I'd have him out to the Freedom Factory to do some drifting when he was fully recovered. Well, He's been back at work for a while and he's been out driving. He's building his own cars and he actually works at a machine shop for a living. And just recently he came out to the Freedom Factory and we did some drifting. This is basically one of the most heart dropping moments of my life. We're out at the track. We're having a blast. Parker's ripping the 240, doing some drifting. Oh my God. <laughs> You guys know I've beat the life out of that car since the day we got it. That little LS1 has just ripped. I crashed it on the test drive. I've pushed that car pretty hard. So Parker was out ripping and like many people who are new to drifting, they just get in the zone and they don't stop. They keep going. You just start driving. You end up drifting for like two minutes straight. Well, Parker was drifting for almost two minutes and the freaking 240 blew up while he was driving it, you know? So like, this is the guy who just got burned doing a crazy motorsports rip. And now he's out in the Freedom Factory and the car goes up in a plume of smoke. There it is. This was a heart dropping moment for me and especially his fiance. Well, the good news is the 240 has a sealed firewall a sealed cabin and Parker was wearing all of the proper fire safety gear and nothing came of it. But it's good that you guys know that Parker was actually the one that had his foot to the floor when the 240 blew up. Now we knew it was gonna blow up eventually. Being that Parker works at a machine shop, right when it blew up, he's like, dude, hit me up when it's time to put an engine back in this thing. We gotta, you know, make something happen, whatever. I was like, nah, don't worry about it. But then, I blew up Donnie and I'm like, oh my gosh, drift night's tomorrow. So I call him. He's like, dude, maybe we can pull something together. So we got some rods and we got some pistons and we got a junkyard six liter block. But the problem is the rods we got, even though they were brand new, had problems where when the rod bolts were coming out, the threads were galling up. We found another blown engine and we used some rods out of that threw this thing together overnight, which was actually a hilarious, pretty fun time. But as you can see, Luck was not on our side that day and the results did not work out. And this whole video tells the story and also shows just the blast that we had at Drift Night and cannot freaking wait for the next one, dude. Drift Night, just a Friday night Drift Night, the Freedom Factory was packed. Also, this is bonus footage because JH came from the bar after it closed down that's right next door to uh, where Parker works. So JH was really, fired up for this video <laughs> as you'll be able to hear a lot Dude. but my boy's out here at 
freaking 3 a.m. on a Thursday night putting together. This is, guys, just want you We're to know, live. We got 3 a.m. tomorrow at, what, 6 p.m., Drift Night starts. Drive this engine will be in Rocky, and it will be shredding the track tomorrow. A couple times a week, my boy is out here past midnight ripping. Seriously, it's like, he deal, shreds it, dude. So, anyway, that had doubts him, Jeez, this is my boy. Plug, my so, literally, I just want everybody to know, I'm going to show my watch, 3 a.m. I'm not doing anything. I'm just here filming because I just was the uh, I was the call-in camera it. guy. It's 5.41 a.m., and we are about to put the heads on. So, it's one of those things. Yes, we made it this far. We should be done by about 6.30. All right, guys, it's 7.30 a.m. Parker and I have officially finished the six liter and uh, about to load it into Bison. Go hand it off to Jackson so he can uh, put it in Rocket. We need that for some Come on, Rocket. <laughs> Spicer. Did I get you, Pat? <laughs> Why would this thing be out of timing? Oh! <laughs> I go, I'm going to take a video and send it to Nate. It was backfire. There it starts. It was meant to be. Let's go. Yes. It sounds good, too. I literally go, I'm gonna send a video to Nate. It sounds so weird. There's gotta be a timing problem. And it just fires. <laughs> I love it when you don't have to do anything to fix it itself. Woo! Hey, ha, brother! She's got that oil pressure, you know the deal. Let it get a full heat cycle and then shut it down. Yeah. Hey, yo, drift night begins. We got a little line building two or three hours before. So we're just going to let people in early. I love opening the gate. It's such a good feeling. So. All right, we got Manatee County rescue peeps out here. Ambulance is here. It's all coming together. The gates are open. The people are here. Music's on. It's going to be a fun night. Oh, snap. Cars are rolling up. You guys already won the paint scheme award for the night. <laughs> yeah, is the other side better? And the mustache is the We're trying. real deal. <laughs> Let's see what we got. It's clean. Hood wrench. <laughs> yes, that is awesome. How's she sound? Guys, we literally cannot find the OBD2 port, so we can't even tune rocket. We might, if the tune might be close enough that we might just be sending it. <laughs> Risky. Dang! This thing's sick. Dude, this thing's sick. Hey, I may or may not have broke my Corvette, but I got a two port. I may not need to hop in this one then. Hey, not a bad idea. Sick, man, it looks great. Dude, we got some spicy units out here. This thing's running pretty good. I'm, I'm Dude, we're not changing anything. Like <laughs> Nate's like, we gotta check the air fuels, but we might just have to send it. When you first kick it, so it definitely is getting enough fuel. Just to send it. Just send it, Nate? <laughs> Screw this thing in there. Hey, I built the motor myself. I, I built it so I could run the Lanina's can be, dude. We don't, number one, you don't have a port where I can even check. <laughs> Did you hear Parker? You uh, didn't know oh, shh. Okay, never mind. Engine builder's here. We have to tune this, dude. We can't just send it. We already it. tuned it. What do you mean? Yeah, hey, Parker, we may not have been able to find the OBD2 port. We might not be able to tune it. I got, I got a Christopher. <laughs> Bro, the parking guys didn't show up? No show. That's, uh, that's just some classic, classic event stuff. Exactly. No one ever sees it. Roll with the punches. It's way like to, way to make it happen, bro. Rocket's good. Like We're about to test it. So far, they seem pretty normal. Yeah. 
catch that idol. That sounds like rod. Well, that's a tough break situation. <laughs> uh. <laughs> hey, bud, yeah. air fuel is good. It wasn't the air fuel. Yeah. Something I put together wrong, probably. So, did you get all the flats to flats and the bevel edges out on your rods to the crank? Hard to say. <laughs> <laughs> Neighbor's gonna take a beat down the road. Tough break. Yeah. All right, well, let's push her off to the side, dude. It is what it is. We're gonna leave it out here as a as a staple. We're gonna put up another yeah, shot. Dang, Pat, we got a lineup out here, bro. Got him, got him out, baby. Sick. All right, guys, drift night's getting started. Super cool crowd over there. We're uh, we're fired up. Ah, one of the finest Freedom Factory rippers. It's been here before. Ooh. It's never been here with this much power. Yeah, I warned the fire safety team you were coming. You know, it's not the RX-7, right? <laughs> being... Oh, man. All right, cool. you out in the house. How are the bleachers, guys? <laughs> Anyone see any problems? Anybody? That guy, kick him out. No, just kidding. Who's excited? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, dude? I'm from Peter, man. Oh, thank you for coming out to the first oh, one, dude. My God. Insane. The amount of people here. Bro, and you killed it on your first run. It was so sick. Thanks, man. Nice job. It's All right. to be here. Hell yeah, bro. Hey, question Love for it. you. What? How does a fellow like me get one of those Mountain Dew hot dog specials? Oh, a Hell Yeah Brother special? Yeah. I can make that happen. I can get one delivered for you right here. <laughs> you get Uber Eats? Or I got what? you. I'll, get it. I'll make it happen. <laughs>
other night, dude. Is that not epic? Dude, best night ever, dude. Look at that. We're gonna make that better. Hey, Epic Group Night at the Freedom Factory. What a fun experience, dude. Some amazing time. So, that's it. Thanks for watching, Wolf Wolfreak, and see you later. Yeah.